What's poppin' everybody? Tiffany here, aka Miss Beautiful. And today, as you can see by the title, I will be trying Juvia's Place Concealer for the first time. <laughs> So this Juvia's Place concealer does retail originally for $14. When it was 50% off, I think it was $8.50 if my math. Fraud, that don't even sound right, but anyway. <laughs> so I got the number eight and I'm hoping it'll work. So just comparing this <laughs> Juvia's Place to my ColourPop concealer, this is double the size. So this is two milliliters and this is five milliliters so you guys I feel like this is gonna last me a long time okay so let's get right into it of course you guys already know about this doe foot oh my god this is like so big it holds quite a bit of product so we're gonna see how this goes let's go oh yeah oh girl she like bought off this is a pretty good shade too I'm not going to do much. Let's see how far I can take this. Yes, I'm feeling like... Okay, I haven't dipped back in yet. Yes. I could conceal my whole face with this, y'all. One and done. Let's blend her out. Wow. That took like milliseconds. <laughs> wow, you guys. Oh my god. I'm spreading out so good. What are we thinking? I think I got a good shade. What do y'all think? I probably could have went like one shade lighter. Or of course I don't want it to be too light. I'm gonna just fan. Cause I want it to kind of dry down a bit, you know? Especially under my eyes. It seems really oily. I'm gonna just kind of give it a minute and let it dry down a little bit. I ain't got all day, but you know. Kind of blend it as is. Yeah, it's just kind of oil. Well, Y'all see that sheen to it? Y'all see that sheen? Look how shiny it looks. Cause this, like this part is not that shiny. That's really shiny. So I guess that's a good thing. It kind of gives you time to work with it where it's not like super dry and super fast where you gotta hurry up and blend it out. So it gives you time to blend. Y'all see like, <laughs> y'all can see my camera in my face. She is shiny. Wow. So I did my under eyes last, just because I wanted to sit as long as possible and get the most coverage. All right, so let's see. The coverage is amazing though. It just got me looking so shut. Girl, I look like I just, girl. Why does it feel, yeah, so you really don't want to use a lot of this. Cause this under eye, like my face feels like it's drooping on this side. It feels a tad, just a tad, it's bit heavy. I see how shiny, oh, you know, I'm about to go in and set it with powder anyway, but um, I'm just not used to this. <laughs> I'm not used to this. I'm an oily girl, so you know what I mean? These products gotta be mattifying. So I'm gonna go on with some Laura Mercier. And I don't bake, I just, this, whatever this is. <laughs> All right, she look good. She look real good. So she's that matte. That was a little scary though, huh? I feel like I'm adding that add like a lot of extra powder <laughs> because it was such a wet formula. That was interesting. <laughs> so I'm gonna finish the rest of my makeup, kind of see how it 
reacts with my other products and I'll be back for my final thoughts. All right, you guys, so my final thoughts on the, the Juvia's Place I Am Magic Concealer. So one thing I did forget to do was go through its claims. Okay, so it doesn't really have any like specific claims. It just says weightless coverage. So I will say that the coverage was really good. I feel like it was definitely there. It concealed, you know, my dark areas very well. Um, gives it a nice, you know, kind of smooth, smooths out my complexion, so to speak. So for weightless, now I feel like it's only weightless if you use like the smallest amount. But when I went to blend out just under this eye, it felt a little heavy because I put so much on it. It actually wasn't really a lot because I usually use a lot more with my Colourpop concealer. But just because the doe foot is so big, there is a lot of product being dispersed onto your face. You know what I mean? So definitely a little goes a long way. You don't want to use a lot of this at all. As far as the formula goes, I feel like there may be some extra oils or something that just kind of keeps it wet. Like, <laughs> you know what I mean? I would say this concealer does not dry down unless until you go and take a powder to set it and then, you know, it gives it that drier set look. I like the concealer as far as the coverage, as far as um, helping smooth my complexion. It's pretty good now that it's set. That's just that on that, okay? Hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And until next time, see you. Yeah.